Yup, you came here to watch Phil Ivey. Well, cash games, tournaments, and other styles of poker, you name it, he's always been on top. He constantly outplays the pros and earns millions while doing it. In this video, get ready to witness his incredible skills and why he's the GOAT of deception, reads, and bluffing. Stick around for the last one. I promise you'd be shocked to see what happens. Let's go. I'm the king of poker and the GOAT is Phil Ivey. To start off, we're going way back to the original Full Toe Poker million dollar cash game. We got big names like Helmuth, Matisau, Tom Dwan, Patrick Antonius, Ferguson, and David Benjamin. For this hand, we got Mike Matisau who opens with pocket kings and raises to 4,700. David likes his pocket threes and he calls the set mine. Folds the rest of the way, but Phil Ivey calls with ace four suited. On the flop, we get jack four six, two tone. Matisau C bets for 11,000 into an almost $16,000 pot. David gets all quick since he misses with his pocket threes and Ivy with the mind games goes. He does, he probably thinks that if he catches a four. To be honest, if you're asking me, I think he got a read here and ended up deciding to call. Let me know what you guys think. Seven card, check. Now that's a very, check. very dangerous card here. Not only is it the third club, but it's the top check. pair. Can Ivy represent that? Well, he's gone check, check. Mike slows down as he should and checks. Phil checks behind. Seven. Well, he's got the king of clubs, Mike. Check. Ivy checks, and now Matisau is deciding how much he's going to bet with his king high flush. Before he does, Mike does something pretty questionable here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Did Phil get a read from this? I can't see Ivy calling, can you? I forgot what I have. He's just going to have a look back. I was right. He couldn't remember whether he had a club or not. Pot is $37,800. 15000 15000 Get a $15,000 bet from Matisau. Action back to Ivy. The bet laying fell three to one to call this bet. It's pretty to be a profitable call. Well, he's decided. To, Fifty-two thousand total. He's decided to re-raise it. Ivy hits Matisau with a three and a half x raise here of fifty-two thousand. Matisau is pretty f***ing stressed. And of course, Mike Matisau started Philly, this hand Philly, with just Philly, under a hundred thousand dollars. Philly, 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 Philly. Why do you do this to me, Philly? Two queens were too small. You wouldn't have thought that long. No. It's a difference. Not really. Oh, wow. And he and throws he's laid it, it away. down. Oh, my. I, he is going to be sick. And is Ivy going to show this? I had the ace. Next up in similar fashion, Ivy continues to prove his dominance in the full tilt poker million dollar cash game. We have a family pot involving David Benjamin, Tom Dwan, Matisau, Ivy, Antonius, Feldman, and Gus Hansen. Flop shows King King Deuce, two tone. Ivy and Antonius both flop trip kings and Benjamin has the second nut flush draw. Checks around to Ivy who leads out with 3,000 into a $4,900 pot. Ivy with trip kings. Bet 3,000. Antonius is trip kings with a jack kicker. Dominating Ivy. Cool. And Benjamin with the flush draw as well. We might see some action from him in this flop. I'm not one of them. Pass. Pass. This is an action flop to say the least. Cool. Well, Benjamin's not stupid. He knows a paired board. He's not going to play a flush draw that strong, is he? No, but I, I knew he would at least see this turn card. Three way to the turn, and it's a four of diamonds completing the flush for Benjamin. Benjamin's hand. Look at this, Benjamin. Check. Has the flush on the turn. Check. Ivy and Antonius with trip kings. Ivy in terrible shape. He needs a seven to win it. A deuce or a four to tie. Antonius needs a jack to win. Or a deuce and a four. Bet. Ivy slows down. Benjamin checks behind. And Antonius leads out for a big $10,000. Benjamin calls. Ivy calls. So I don't know if I'm Patrick Antonius if I bet there or not. Cool. So, king do suited, king four suited. Those are the kind of hands somebody might be in there with. Cool. Well, call, call. We go to the river. Now, this might be a stretch, but I figured I'd throw it out there. But if you notice, he throws his chips in a way where it's giving off he's drawing or that he's frustrated and that he has to call even though he doesn't want to. Honestly, if he was ahead or nutted, I doubt he'd be throwing his chips in like that. But to be honest, Ivy did this to either rep an image like he's drawing for a diamond or he's frustrated. Feels like he has to call with his chips even though his kicker's low. 
<laughs> five. Five of Donovan. That's going to be an action killer. I was going to say that's going to crush the action because now there's four to a flush on the board. Benjamin now feels pressure. He has the second enough flush draw. He's first to act in checks. I mean, obviously, he's got the winner, but at the same time, you know, he can't beat a full house and he can't beat an ace of diamonds. Wow, I think. Bet 40,000. I think Phil Ivey's plowing into this. Think about the way the hand was played. If you're Benjamin, you go, okay, well, one of, maybe one of my opponents has a king. Ivy, bold as he possibly can be, leads out with basically a pot size bet of $40,000 into a three way pot with no diamond. Antonius folds, and now the pressure is on Benjamin. Is there a chance the other one's got an ace of diamonds? Yes. Exactly the hand I believe Phil Ivy's trying to represent. You've also got to imagine there's a chance that Ivy's got a full house here. Absolutely. Could be two's full. I mean, that's that's the other consideration. I mean, a lot of people at home are watching this going, wow, got the queen high flush. Well, it's actually a king high flush, but he's got a queen in his hand. And he can raise this. There's no way he raises this. And Patrick Antonius already folded. An easy fold for Antonius. But if you're Benjamin... That's a tough call. Yeah. It really is. But it's only a one card to a flush. If you don't have the nuts, it's a tough spot. Absolutely. Especially the way Phil Ivey not doing a thing until the fourth diamond came. I mean, it feels like he has the ace of diamonds. If I didn't know better, I, I would have thought he had ace of diamonds. Yeah, he could also be in there. I mean, look, he's, he's got king seven. Would it really be shocking if he turned over king four? Actually, no, it wouldn't be. On a limped pot? Yeah, I, I, play, I think he is going to play a, a, a king four suit. Well, obviously, is he played king, king seven. What's the difference between king five and king four and king seven? There's no difference at all. Not much at all. And Benjamin knows that. Benjamin has a lot of experience with Ivy. I wouldn't be surprised if Benjamin lays his hand down. There's no bluff in this spot. I don't see how you can possibly be bluffing. It's a tough spot, tough decision for David Benjamin. I don't see how. I just can't believe you would have hit the five. David Benjamin trying to make sense of this hand. Such a fickle game, poker is. He looks at the flop, he goes, oh, sort of like the flop. As David decides, comment below what you would do in this situation if you had the queen high flush. The fact Ivy led out here with the three-way pot shows a ton of strength. Uh, Ivy gives him nothing. Wow! That's power poker. He had the third best hand and ends up taking down the pot. Oh my God. I, I guarantee they're both the same card. Bet. Really? How much? I mean, not the suit, but I'm going to bet. Bet. I bet a thousand. Okay. Bet. They only show one. It's too late now. All right, we, we have a bet. We have a bet though. Okay. Now, before we get into this next one, I just want to say this is probably one of the greatest poker hands of all time. Let's take a look. We're in Monte Carlo, heads up, and first place is 1 million. We got Jackson here holding 6 5 off, and IBS Queen 8 suited. Paul Jackson, however, has breached that magic million chip mark, and were he to double through, we'd be looking at a real horse race here. Well, it's such a different game. Two-handed here. Phil raises. Jackson calls. On flop. Pair of jacks and a seven. Ivy's still the leader with that queen eight suited. Three hearts out there for him. 80,000 is the bet. And that's a pretty standard poker play, Barry. The big stack on a flop like this in an unraised pot wants to keep making tester bets try to find out if the little guy connected in any way and with that kind of flop it looks unlikely so Phil Ivey says okay I've got queen high but I'll take a stab at it and look at this re-raised by Jackson wow Ivy first to act C bets 80,000 into 176,000 pot Jackson thinks he's full of and raises to 170,000 to 170,000. Now, I I like the play because Paul Jackson is willing to get into a poker match here. He's not going to just sit around and wait to flop the nuts. This may be the line in the sand here for Paul Jackson. Phil Ivey, though, if he really thinks deeply about this, might be asking himself, well, now wait a minute. If this guy had a jack in his hand, would he re-raise me here? Probably not. Ivy with balls of steel goes in for the re-raise to 320,000. The question is, wow. will overthink A re-raise! Well, there you are. Re-raises to 320,000. It's right back in the face of Paul Jackson. We are watching some poker here, Barry. Both guys with 
nothing. Phil Ivey's nothing is a little bit better than Paul Jackson's, but <laughs> nobody connected with that flop, and here they are, raise, re-raise, re-raise. Nice. Oh my goodness, Jackson <laughs> is re-raising. What the heck is going on here? Re-raising. Another 150,000, now it's up to 470. Almost a million chips in this pot now. In your head, you're thinking, we're way too deep. I try to bluff out this, and you're getting the hell out of there. But Ivy knows something else. I don't know, dude. I've watched this guy play. It seems like he knows something that we will never know. All in. What? <laughs> That's why we're here and they're there. Absolutely astonishing poker. What was point thinking, is He said it was a good lay down, and he's going to do just that. And Phil Ivey is the guy who did not blink. Watching this hand was like witnessing great art. It's absurd and wonderful at the same time. For more intriguing poker stories, stay tuned for more videos, and subscribe for a regular dose of poker excitement. Welcome to the Flop Factor.